Hi guys, now welcome to my channel. All right, this is a continuation of our discussion concerning standard uh, socket arrangement. We have a similar discussion concerning this before. All right, so um, today we're going to discuss about this uh, three standard socket arrangement. Okay, because if we don't discuss it now, some I have. Um, followers who are requesting for arrangement of a socket outlet okay now we're going to discuss one two three let's start from number one number one is a ring circuit okay ring circuit arrangement yeah. ring circuit arrangement i think i have a victoria view of that let me see if i can still have it from my okay supposing we have something like this supposing we have something like this okay one two three four five six seven socket arrangement okay we now going to locate them in different apartments this one children's room madam bedroom master bedroom and the guest room this one can be any other apartment okay all right so let's go back and see what we have here so the ring circuit as we all know is all about the arrangement of true and flow cable routing the first set of cable, live, neutral, and air will move from distribution board and uh, supply the, re the whole of the outlet and now return back to the distribution board again. So it's going through and flow. That is why the name is ring, ring circuit, because it's going to form ring, it's going to form a closed loop, a complete continuity. That is this particular one. So the requirement is that the rotative device the star block, the MCB in that same uh, distribution board, the rating is going to be 30 amps or 32 amps. The reason for 30 or 32 is because 30 and 32 uses the same tripping um, sequence, the same tripping uh, range. Okay. And uh, some manufacturers of this MCB manufacture 30, some manufacture 32. So if you don't have 30, 32 can go. Both of them are the same. All right. Okay, but we're going to work with 30 so that we have a uniform calculation. Okay, we're going to work with that. The requirement said the MCB protective device should be 30 amps or 32. Then the length of run, the distance coverage, the distance you are going to cover while electrifying those points of a socket outlet is going to be confined within 100 meters only. Then the cable size you are going to use is going to be 2.5 mm square. All right. Okay. The three set of cable that you are going to use, live, neutral, and um, etting continuity, is going to be one is going to be 2.5 mm square, live and neutral. Then the etting system, the edge continuity is going to be 1.5 mm square. All right. That is the requirement of this. The number of socket that you have to cover, number of socket outlet is unlimited. Okay, but the meaning of unlimited simply means that they have given you 100 meters to cover. So in that case, if you have up to 50 outlet you want to electrify, make sure they are, they are within the confine of 100 meters. If you also have 10 that you want to electrify, make sure that those 10 is within the coverage of 100 meters. Okay, so this one is going to be a guide for you to determine how many that is required within the circuit. All right, that is why they said it's unlimited. But this one is going to give you the constraint, know how to uh, use the, manage your cable distance. All right, and uh, you also, you are also aware that within the ring circuit, you are, you are not expected to use more than 10 sockets because there is no way your arrangement will, you will confine more than 10 socket within 100 meters if you actually understand 100 meters distance you know that from your level of your socket outlet that is 450 mm square for 450 and meters millimeters between your finish floor that is the height of your suspended level for the socket outlet is going to be 450 cm Okay, between the finish level to where you are going to suspend the socket outlet. Now, between that place now to your ceiling, you know, is about three meters. That is your vertical pipe, three meters. Then the horizontal pipe from there to locate another point of socket. 
let me say approximately another three meters so that is six meters so that is how you count the length of your pipe and the length of your cable run so if you're multiplying them until you get up to 100 meters so do not exceed that okay all right then the protective device like we said going to be 30 and uh, 32 whichever one that's accessible to you now let's work with 30 so that I will give you a formula should in case if you want to do a customized socket arrangement. Customize is the one you do uh, outside this particular standard. If you want to do like local standard, okay, if you cannot afford this or you are not opportune to go um, across this particular standard. For instance, I have a, a store or I have a, a setup that the socket outlet required only within that same installation is just four socket outlet only maybe it's going to be a, a small kiosk a small stop that requires a limited uh, socket outlet so in that case this requirement is not going to be met again you are going to use a customized socket outlet uh, arrangement so because of that now i want to use 30. so now if we are using 10 socket point 10 socket outlet in one ring so in that case, each of the point is going to take three amps. All right. Now divide this by 10, divide 30 by 10. That means each socket point is going to consume three amps. So let's use that as our reference uh, point so that whenever I want to do customized uh, socket arrangement, we use that three amps to sum up number of socket that we want to electrify. All right. So we are using 30 amps now for our protective device. Okay, then the cable size is going to be 2.5 mm square. All right, I'm so, um, I want to emphasize on this uh, cable size 2.5 mm square because this one is more interesting for to you. Because if you increase the size of this cable, take note, the risk implication is this. If you increase the size of this cable and you are going to comply in every other requirement, but you now increase the size of cable, you know that every cable has a temperature limitation and every cable has a temperature you are supposed to attain before your MCB responds to a fault. Okay. Now, if you increase the size of this cable, that means this particular um, MCB rating that you have selected is altered because the segregation or selectivity concept that you must adopt is that 30 amps current rating is sufficient enough for 2.5 mm square to, to, to power because there is a temperature that 2.5 mm square must attain before these 30 amps will respond to fault. But if you now increase the size of this cable, let me perhaps increase it to 4 mm square. That means this breaker will not trip at that particular time supposed to respond while using 2.5 mm. So that is the reason why some of your appliances will be the socket will be getting burnt meanwhile the protective device is still in that uh, mcb uh, uh, distribution board and they will receive uh, refuse to respond the reason why your mcb will not respond to fault meanwhile your appliance is getting burnt is because your selectivity and your cable selection is wrong either your mcb is very big and your cable is very small or your cable is very big and your MCB is also big. So the temperature of this cable is not up to that particular range of temperature to give rise to trippage of this. So that is why you must maintain cable size and maintain MCB. All right? Okay, that aside. Then you have another number two, radial circuit. That particular one again says you are going to use 30 or 32. Then the cable distance coverage the length of run for your cable the length of run is going to be 75 meters only that means you are going to confine number of socket point within 75 meter distance so don't use more than 75 meter uh, 75 meters of cable while electrifying this particular arrangement then the cable size is going to be 4 mm square Okay, the cable size is going to be 4 mm. You know the reason why it's 4 mm squared? Remember that this 2.5 mm is for two sets of cable. 
two have to go through and flow. Okay, so if you merge the current uh, flow uh, part, it's going to be current is going to flow through two parts. It's flowing to divert to flowing going and also divert to coming out. So in that case, the size of this cable from my own assessment is going to be 5 mm square. Let me come again, 2.5 times 2, that is 5 mm square. So the total resistance of cable we are using here is 5 mm. So don't say that we are using 4 mm here and we use 2.5 here and you want to question the arrangement. No, don't question the arrangement because this one current is moving through two parts, throwing and flow, all right? Then this one, current is moving only one part. There is no return set of cable, okay? Where you stop is where the cable stop. You don't return back to distribution board. That is why this one is higher. But both of them maintain the same number of socket if you wish to use 10, okay? But remember that you are going to confine your socket point within these meters. Then this one is 100 meters, okay? All right, now the last one is another radial circuit that fall under this category. Now, this one now does not return. It's not a ring, it's a radial. Okay, just like this one. Then the protective device is going to be 20 amps. Then the length of coverage, the length of run, the distance covered by the cable is going to be 50 meters. Then the cable size still be still maintain 2.5 mm squared. All right, number of socket is still unlimited. Okay, unlimited because we still have a constraint here. We still have 50 meters. So this is an issue. Make sure that your socket does not go out of these meters. So don't go above this uh, 50 meters. So that is your limitation here. All right. Okay. But they will just give you a guide. You have given a guide that number of socket is unlimited, but make sure you don't exceed this length of run being 50 meters. Okay. All right, so these are three standard socket arrangements that we have. Now, there's one other one I call customized socket arrangement. If you want to do customized socket arrangement, you still may have to maintain the formula of this, the formula of this first one. The first one said 30 amps and the number of socket unlimited, but 10 can go. All right, the regulatory body said number of socket unlimited but they approve 10 number of socket to be used on this on this ring circuit okay all right so if 10 point 10 point of socket outlet is approved to be used on this ring so we're going to use the formula of 30 amps so in that case each point each ring point is entitled of three amps each socket outlet point is entitled of three amps to resist Okay, so because of that, I'm going to use that as a standard to formulate my own customized arrangement. So in that case, now I'm going to say, okay, if I have a, an electrical installation to be carried out and uh, none of this standard complies to what I want to uh, do. For instance, I want to electrify only four socket points. What I have is four socket outlet. I don't have more than that. So in that case, I'm going to say divide this by three, divide this by 10. I have three. So I'm going to say three amps times four. That is 12 amps. So I'm going to use 12 amps. But unfortunately, we don't have 12 amps. It's very rare to get when you are looking, when you are uh, selecting MCB for distribution board system. We don't have 12 amps, but we have 15 amps. So you are going to use 15 amps. Okay, you are going to use 15 amps. So why using 15 amps? Take note, you are not going to use 2.5 mm square any longer because you are giving this, you are giving this as another standard category to meet up. But since you are not using this, that means your requirement is below this standard. Okay. Your requirement now is below this category standard. So because of that, you're going to do what we call customized socket arrangement. And while doing that, you're going to use a standard from here to drive that. So how, how, how are we going to do that? Is by using three, dividing this by 10. 
So each of these is going to be 3 amps. So in that case, 3 times 4, if you are using 4 socket outlet, is going to be 12. But we don't have 12 as a standard socket um, uh, MCD setup, but we have 15. So we are using 15 amps to protect those uh, 4 ring points that you have. All right. Take note. Now, in that case now, you are going to use 15 because if you understand this alone, and uh, you now come across electrifying very few socket outlets. You shouldn't go and use 30 amps to protect four ring points. And you shouldn't also use 30 amps to protect five ring points or six ring points. So if you are using less than this standard, you're using lesser number of socket outlet other than 10. So you're going to do a customized socket arrangement by calculating 3 amps because 3 amps is what we have here now by using 30 for 10 points so 3 times 4 for 12 so we are using 15 to protect that circuit and because we are using only 4 we are no longer using 2.5 because 2.5 temperature is higher than is higher so in that case you are using lesser cable side by using 1.5 mm square so 1.5 can easily respond to this but if you are using this and use 2.5, the tripping time of this will take longer time. If you are using 2.5 and choose to use 15 amps to protect the circuit of 4 socket outlet, the tripping time will be higher, will take longer time. If possible, some of your appliances will be going bad while the breaker remains on trip. Okay, so that's what we call segregation, selectivity, or discrimination of circuit um, cable size and uh, socket and protective device. So in order not to discriminate or mess up your selectivity concept, we are going to comply with this standard, this particular one. So make, make sure you comply with this if you cannot afford this or this. So comply with this. But should in case you want to electrify a circuit that is less than this that means the distance of that your electrification is less than 50 meters in that case you do a customized socket arrangement but you must work with 30 amps which means each socket point is entitled of uh, 3 amps so use 3 amps to multiply how many socket point you want to electrify all right so that is um, information i bring to your notice today then what one other things I want to one other uh, thing I want to emphasize on is this. Uh, let's see if we can uh, put up a kind of uh, something like this. For instance, I have a, a children bedroom, children bedroom, uh, and uh, I also have a master bedroom, and I have madam bedroom, and so on. So when doing this your socket arrangement you should also do your circuit discretion at the back of your distribution board by putting a labeling of this okay you must go to your distribution board and uh, write down master bedroom madam bedroom children's bedroom anywhere this for instance I, like example i told you about customized socket arrangement if you want to do customized uh, socket arrangement so you are using four one two three four to board one, two, three, four for each circuit, and another one, two, three, perhaps another one here. Okay, okay, one, two, three, four circuit, one, two, three, four for another circuit. So in this arrangement, now you have two socket up, uh, socket so, um, arrangement circuit. So in that case, now you're going to write this one, this one, and this, and the lobby to form one circuit and describe where each point is located. That is what I mean. Okay, so you must make arrangement. Uh, uh, make uh, maintenance uh, very uh, very affordable and uh, very easy and accessible to whoever that is carrying out the uh, troubleshooting on that uh, distribution board by doing your circuit analysis and your circuit uh, description right up okay all right so that is the information we have today uh, that is a three standard socket arrangement that we have to discuss about so there are one ring circuit radial circuit and other radial circuit and these are their requirement you must meet okay do not increase the cable sizes please maintain this 
maintain this. It's only when you are doing out of standard, you want to do your customized uh, socket arrangement out of this other standard that is stipulated by IET. If you want to do that, you must also comply to the arrangement of current current capacity of your MCB by dividing this to get the number of your circuit arrangement. Okay. All right. Thank you.